Sunderland is a biogeographical region of southeastern Asia which encompasses the Sunda Shelf, the part of the Asian continental shelf that was exposed during the last ice age. The last glacial period, popularly known as the Ice Age, was the most recent glacial period within the current ice age occurring during the last years of the Pleistocene, from approximately 110,000 to 12,000 years ago. It included the Malay Peninsula on the Asian mainland, as well as the large islands of Bonio, Java, and Sumatra and their surrounding islands. The eastern boundary of Sunderland is the Wallace Line, identified by Alfred Russell Wallace as the eastern boundary of the range of Asia's land mammal fauna, and thus the boundary of the Indoor Malaya and Australasia ecozones. The islands east of the Wallace Line are known as Wallacea, and are considered part of Australasia. History the South China Sea and adjoining land masses had been investigated by scientists such as Malingra Orth and Umpgrove, who had postulated ancient, now submerged, drainage systems. These were mapped by Tjia in 1980 and described in greater detail by Emil and Carey in 1982 complete with river deltas, floodplains and backsumps. The ecology of the exposed Sunda Shelf has been investigated by analyzing cores drilled into the ocean bed. The pollens found in the cores have revealed a complex ecosystem that changed over time. The flooding of Sunderland separated species that had once shared the same environment such as the river Threadfin, that had once thrived in a river system now called North Sunda River, or Malingralorf River. The fish is now found in the Capuas River on the island of Bonio, and in the Musi and Batanari rivers in Sumatra. Human migrations, according to the most widely accepted theory, the ancestors of the modern-day Austronesian populations of the Malay Archipelago and adjacent regions are believed to have migrated southward, from the East Asia mainland to Taiwan, and then to the rest of maritime Southeast Asia. An alternate theory points to the now-submerged Sunderland as the possible cradle of Asian population, thus the out-of-Sunderland theory. However, this view is an extreme minority view among professional archaeologists, linguists, and geneticists. The out of Taiwan model is accepted by the vast majority of professional researchers. A study from Leeds University and published in Molecular Biology and Evolution, examining mitochondrial DNA lineages, suggested that humans had been occupying the islands of Southeast Asia for a longer period than previously believed. Population dispersals seem to have occurred at the same time as sea levels rose which may have resulted in migrations from the Philippine Islands to as far north as Taiwan within the last 10,000 years. The population migrations were most likely to have been driven by climate change a year or the effects of the drowning of an ancient continent. Rising sea levels and three massive pulses may have caused flooding and the submerging of the Sunda continent, creating the Java and South China Seas and the thousands of islands that make up Indonesia and the Philippines today. The changing sea levels would have caused these humans to move away from their coastal homes and culture, and farther inland throughout Southeast Asia. This forced migration would have caused these humans to adapt to the new forest and mountainous environments, developing farms and domestication, and becoming the predecessors to future human populations in these regions. A 2009 genetic study published by the 2009 human genome organization Pan-Asian SNP Consortium found that Asia was originally settled by humans via a single southern route. The migration came from Africa via India, into Southeast Asia and what are now islands in the Pacific, and then later up to the eastern and northern Asian mainland. Genetic similarities were found between populations throughout Asia and an increase in genetic diversity from northern to southern latitudes. Although the Chinese population is very large, it is less variation than the smaller number of individuals living in Southeast Asia, because the Chinese expansion occurred very recently, within only the last 2,000 to 3,000 years, following the perfection of rice agriculture. Oppenheimer locates the origin of the Austronesians in Sunderland and its upper regions. Genetic research reported in 2008 indicates that the islands which are the remnants of Sunderland were likely populated as early as 50,000 years ago, contrary to a previous hypothesis Bellwood and Diz in 2005 that they were populated as late as 10,000 years ago from Taiwan. From the standpoint of historical linguistics, the home of the Austronesian languages is the main island of Taiwan 
formerly known as Formosa. On this island the deepest divisions in Austronesian are found, among the families of the native Formosan languages. Ecology, the islands of Sunderland rest on an extension of Asia's shallow continental shelf, called the Sunda Shelf. During the Ice Ages, sea levels were lower and all of Sunderland was an extension of the Asian continent. As a result, the islands of Sunderland are home to many Asian mammals including elephants, monkeys, apes, tigers, tapirs, and rhinoceros. The Wallace Line, which includes the Lombok Strait between Bali and Lombok, and the Makassar Strait between Bonio and Sulawesi, marks the end of the Asian continental shelf. The islands of Wallace are separated from Asia and from Australia and New Guinea by deep ocean. Botanists often include Sunderland, the adjacent Philippines, Wallace and New Guinea in a single floristic province of Malaysia, based on similarities in their flora, which is predominantly of Asian origin. Equals ecoregions of Sunderland equals tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests, Bonio lowland rainforests, Bonio montane rainforests, Bonio peat swamp forests, Eastern Java Euro Bali montane rainforests, Eastern Java Euro Bali rainforests. Mentaway Islands Rainforests, Peninsula Malaysian Montane Rainforests, Peninsula Malaysian Peat Swamp Forests, Peninsula Malaysian Rainforests, Southwest Bonio Freshwater Swamp Forests, Sumatran Freshwater Swamp Forests, Sumatran Lowland Rainforests, Sumatran Montane Rainforests, Sumatran Peat Swamp Forests, Sunderland Heath Forests, Western Java Montane Rainforests, Western Java Rainforests. Tropical and subtropical coniferous forests, Sumatran tropical pine forests, montane grasslands and shrublands, Kinabalu montane alpine meadows, mangroves, Sunda shelf mangroves. See also Austronesian languages, Bandi Arcade, Biogeography, Doggerland, Euro contemporary North Sea land mass, Further tongue hypothesis, Islands of Indonesia, Oceania, Australasia, Australia. Oceanic Trench, Plate Tectonic, Sunda Arcade, Sunda Islands, Greater Sunda Islands, Lesser Sunda Islands, Sunda Trench. Notes and references. Equals further reading equals Stephen Oppenheimer. Eden in the East, 1999, Phoenix ISBN 0-7538-0679-7. Equals selected faunal references in Bonio equals. Abdullah Mount. 2003. Biogeography and Variation of Synopterus Brachiotis in Southeast Asia. PhD Thesis. The University of Queensland, St. Lucia, Australia. Corbett, G. B., Hill, June 1992. The Mammals of the Indoor Malayan Region, a Systematic Review. Oxford University Press, Oxford. Hall L. S., Gordon G. Grigg. Craig Moritz, Bezichtal, Isiset, Ahabmani, Abdullah Mount. 2004. Biogeography of Fruit Bats in Southeast Asia. Sarawak Museum Journal LX, 81, 191 Euro 284. Karam, C, AA2N, Abdullah Mount. 2004. Mammals. Sarawak Museum Journal Special Issue No. 6. 80, 221 a Euro 234. Mode. Aislin J., Ibnu Mariento, Agus P. Cartano, Abdullah Mount. 2003 Diversity, Relative Abundance and Conservation of Coropterans in Kalimantaran National Park, East Kalimantan, Indonesia. Sarawak Museum Journal 79, 251 a Euro 265. Hall L.S. Rishids G.C., Abdullah Mount. 2002. The Bats of Nair National Park, Sarawak. Sarawak Museum Journal 78, 255 a Euro 282. Wilson D.E., Reader Dam. 2005. Mammal Species of the World. Smithsonian Institution Press, Washington, D.C. External links. Animation of Sunderland Submersion, Conservation International, Sunderland, Review of Oppenheimer's Eden in the East, About Sunderland.